Hey y'all, we're gonna do some cheesy chicken taquitos. We're gonna do them in the wood fire grill. Get a little of that wood fire flavor. Y'all wanna stick around for this one. All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, welcome to my backyard. It's a little breezy out here today, so just bear with me. It's not exactly sunny and beautiful like we're used to in Southern California, but that's all right. We're gonna be making some taquitos. We're gonna do them air fried, but we're also gonna use that wood fire flavor technology today. Now, what did we do to get to this point? Okay, we grilled up some pollo asada, got it chopped up, and then chopped it up some more. We got some nice fine chop on it. Use my big old Dahl Strong Serbian chef knife. It's like a big ass cleaver. I'll put a link down below if you want to get yourself one of those. Great conversation piece. But anyway, chop that up. Have uh, a couple cups of cheese. We got some pepper jack in there. Got some cheddar, a little hockey cheese in there. And uh, we're going to throw a little of my West Coast shake in the mix. All right, so I'll have a link down below. This is actually my personal rub that I developed with uh, Uncle Steve's shake. So you want to get yourself some. It is very, very good has the flavors of the West, got those chilies, got the limes, got the cumin, got a little heat. It's good stuff, guys. So the first thing we did, obviously we got the chicken in the bowl, add a little of my West Coast shake in there. We're gonna add a little hot sauce in there. This is uh, Dark Side of the Grill's hot sauce. Yeah, check it out, I'll, I'll have a link below for that one too. Very good hot sauce, not overpowering, great tons of umami flavor. I, I really suggest you try it. And then we throw our cheese in there and we give it a big mix, all right? I spent some time with it, mix it up by hand, want everything to combine and every little bit of flavor gets dispersed out through there okay next up we roll the tortillas so i put my tortillas in the microwave for a little bit to kind of get them a little pliable cook down a little bit and we put some of that mix in there rolled it up tooth picked it up and uh just put it on a tray did that a couple times on camera here so you guys can see what i was doing but it's a really simple thing to do you're putting stuff in there rolling it up tight as you can and then you just throw a couple toothpicks in it got those on the tray i have 10 taquitos ready to roll next thing we did was we got our air crisp basket that fits on our grill grate i went ahead and put all the taquitos in there it fit 10 with this uh the size i made so perfect. And then you know how to spray it down with that duck fat. Now guys, if you don't have duck fat handy, uh, the spray duck fat, uh, use whatever spray oil you have, vegetable, canola, avocado oil, whatever you can find, okay? And then uh, we're ready to go. This brings us to right now. So we're gonna go ahead and get our wood fire grill fired up. Okay, we're gonna use a half a cup of pellets. The chicken's already been grilled over open fire. We don't need to overpower them with smoke, but I do wanna put a little of that that hint of smoke in there, that wood fire flavor. So like I said, about a half a cup of pellets. I'm gonna set it up 390. And uh, for my uh, friends in across the pond, I'll put it in Celsius, you know, right here somewhere. About 20 minutes, we'll be eating good in the neighborhood, guys. All right, let's go ahead and get this uh, wood fire grill fired up. Come on back. Air crisp basket on the grill plate. We're ready to turn this bad boy on. First off though, we're gonna add a little of this West Coast shake over the top of it too. Just a little bit for some extra flavor on the taquitos. All right, y'all, we gotta do a little pivot here. I wasn't thinking the ignition process for those pellets as it goes through the preheat. I do not want that smoke to hit the taquitos, okay? So I'm gonna pull that air crisp basket out, put it aside. We'll do the preheat for the air crisp and the wood fire technology. And then once it's ready, we'll add that uh, air crisp basket in there, okay? So guys, just so you know, uh, don't put the basket in until it's gone through all the preheating and igniting, okay? Sorry about that. Going a little bit fast here. I wasn't quite thinking until I got it set in there. I was like, oh crap, we gotta do it this way. So don't put the basket full of taquitos in until we've gone through all the preheat and ignition process. Good? All right, let's go back down there. Okay, uh, baskets out over to the side over here. Let's go ahead and get this thing turned on. We're gonna go to the air crisp setting. 20 minutes is fine, we want it at 390. Gonna hold this so we get that wood fire technology going. Then we're gonna hit start. We'll let it go through the whole process and then add our taquitos in. The ignition process is done. Let's get our taquitos in there, shut it down. Crisp these bad boys up. All right, taquitos are going. We're gonna check them every five minutes or so. Still not sure if we're gonna flip or not, but I just wanna make sure they're not over crisping, i.e. burning. So every five minutes, take a look. 
everything in it is cooked, right? So we're not trying to get to any, you know, internal temperatures. We just want some nice golden brown and crispy taquitos. That's what we're paying attention for. And we'll just see how it goes. And I'll let you know how long it takes at the end, but we're just doing the eyeball test right now. We're just making sure it doesn't, you know, burn. Once we get these bad boys off, I'm gonna go ahead and dress them in the house and then we'll take a bite. But I got some guac, I got some pico, a little jalapenos in there if you're feeling saucy. People who like crema really love crema. So if you dig it, put it on there. I'm not a big fan of it or sour cream or any of that stuff. I got guac and pico and I'm feeling good about that. Maybe a little bit of hot sauce. All right. So again, you guys do you. All right. We'll see you in about five minutes. Well, a second for you. <laughs> about five minutes in, let's take a look. We're doing all right in there. Give it another five minutes. 10 minutes in, looking good. Can feel it getting a little crunchy up here. That is hot, that's okay. Got a little cheese melting out there, all good. I'm not gonna give them a flip. We'll just keep them rocking and rolling the way they are. All right, y'all, the taquitos are done. It's been about 18 minutes. That West Coast shake on the top got a little uh, toasty on us, and that's perfect. Beautiful, beautiful flavor and color on there. Let's go ahead and get these out, get the toothpicks out, plate it up. We'll come back and try a bite and talk about it. we're done. Took about 20 minutes, give or take. I think it was 18 and change. Okay, so just budget for 18 minutes. 390, I'll put the Celsius below. All right, we got perfectly crunchy. Got the microphone close right here. So you guys can hear the crunch. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> well, goddamn. That's <laughs> a little bit of all right right there, baby. Mm. Listen, y'all know it's good when you gotta kinda double take it look at it again like holy hell is it that good it is that good y'all well i'll set this down and i'll finish the video before i start munching out in front of you guys some more listen y'all nothing left to say but that was just money in the bank okay money in the bank i stole it spent it bought some taquito stuff with it i'm gonna put it back in the bank because like i said it's money in the bank i don't know where the hell i was going with that but in my head it made sense anyway y'all if you want to get one of these uh, Ninja Wood Fire Grills, I'll put a link down below for it. Uh, for my West Coast Shake, there'll be a link down below. For the hot sauce we used in there, anything and everything we do for these videos, including the camera, the microphone, lights, links are all down below for them, okay? If you want to become a show producer, like all these awesome people scrolling in front of the screen who love them a nice crispy taquito with some bomb ass flavors, hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. But again, guys, I am pumped up. This was money. Oh, I can't say it any better. It's so dang good. All right, y'all. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.